What's good fam? Today we are back with another video and in this video you are here because you're having problems getting your MPC to connect to your computer in controller mode. Now I do have a previous video that helps fix this issue and most of those things do apply but with changes that's been happening to the Nmusic website and the Nmusic software center there are different ways to fix this issue and that's what we're going to talk about today. Follow me. Okay, so as I said in a previous video, uh, before setting up your MPC, to run in controller mode and for it to connect to the computer properly. One of the things that you still have to make sure you do is have your hard drive, SSD, or your SD card or thumb drive or whatever it is connected to your MPC formatted correctly. There are many file formats that you can use for your storage facilities, but I still highly recommend that you use XFAT because XFAT is compatible with both Mac and Windows. And so that way you won't have a problem connecting your MPC to any computer and it should work perfectly fine. Now, in the previous video, I told everybody that you can download your drivers from your N Music account, which is still true, but they are shifting everything to the N Music Software Control Center. Inside the N Music Software Center, from here on out, you should start to see everything that you purchased from Akai, N Music, and all of your accounts propagate there, and you can download all of your files and things from there. And this includes not only the drivers, but the software, and even your expansion packs. Now, when I look at my N Music Software Center, it doesn't have all of the expansion packs and things like that that i own but i have noticed that the list is growing and they are putting everything in there now let's take a look at the M music software center real quick all right so here is the M music software center right here as you can see shows a bunch of stuff that i have in here but that's not what we're going to focus on what we are going to focus on is the hardware so we're going to go to this my hardware tab right here and it'll show you all of the units you have Got a bunch of them. Had to return a couple because we had some issues, but we got everything registered in our Music account. Now, when it comes to that, so you can go to your hardware unit. So it shows that I have the MPC Key 61 connected to the computer and also the MPC X Special Edition connected to the computer as well. And as you can see, it shows that it's looking for computer now the mpc x special edition is the one that we're going to do this on but whatever mpc you have you just select the mpc that you're working with whether it's the mpc one live live two whatever it may be on the mpc x special edition you can click run setup and when you click run setup i'm gonna go ahead and click that it will walk you through the process of installing everything that comes with your mpc on your computer and in most cases i would probably recommend that you do that because it's a lot of cool stuff that you get for free and other things that you might want to have just to just to have it but if you're low on storage space or you don't want everything that's fine too so we're going to cancel out of that now there is a small drop down arrow right here it's very easy to miss if you're not paying attention and they all have that and they have different things that comes with the different units so we're going to click that drop down list and when that list opens up, you see all of the stuff that comes with that particular unit. Now, we don't need the firmware updater. We, we're cool on that. We don't need the MIDI driver. We don't need the software. We don't need these free expansions. We don't need any of that. All we need is the driver. So right here, it says MPCX Special Edition Driver. And it says that I have an update to the driver that's installed on the computer. And in most cases, the updated driver should work better. I'm not gonna say that's 100% of the time because it's not. Sometimes there's some wonky things going on, but in most cases, it should work better than previous versions of the driver. 
So we're gonna go ahead and update the driver now. So we're gonna click update, uh, just downloaded it, lickety split. And now we're gonna click install. And now we get the installer specifically for that MPC driver. Okay, so now the install is done. It literally took no time at all. It's a couple of seconds and we're done. And now we have to restart the computer to finish the install. So once you restart the computer, that driver should be updated and your MPC should now connect to the computer as it's supposed to. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart the computer and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now we're back. We're gonna open up our Music Software Center. And we're going to go to the MPC X special edition and hit this drop down menu again, just to verify that it is installed correctly. So, uh, the MPC X special edition driver has been installed. Now that that's been installed and we have verified, we've seen that it says that it has been installed correctly. We're going to go ahead and open up the MPC software and see if it connects to the computer as it should. So the MPC software started up and as you can see, it did connect to the computer. Um, saying my audio driver has changed. I don't, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Hit cancel. Now on the screen, I can hit a new project or something on the screen or I can use the MPC and I'm gonna hit empty project right here. And so now the MPC is connected to the computer and it is working. That's all we got for this one. I hope this video helped you out. Go ahead and make you some bangers out there. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.